Hello and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to say Happy New Year. I didn't actually intro my first video of this year in person. I just did like a voiceover. So I thought I'd come on and say hello. So today's video is the first week of family meals of 2021, although it's actually what was filmed in the last couple of weeks. So it's a really random one. There are more structured videos to come, I promise, but this one is like our Christmas dinner, a few days running up to Christmas, Boxing Day tea, what we did New Year's Eve, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested in having a look at that, then keep watching. I am going to be putting out lots more videos this year. I've got more Cook With Me's planned. I've got more air fryer videos. I've got one almost ready to go up. So that will be coming up really soon. I'm also going to try and do some like healthier what I eat in a day videos because I know a lot of you have requested I do those and I very rarely do a whole day of what I eat. I do like what we eat as a family each night. But I don't tend to put like my breakfast, my snacks and things. And let's face it, in January it's not a bad thing to be cutting out the chocolate and getting a little bit more veg in. Anyway, I'm going to stop chattering on and let's go and have a look at the video. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and we've got these Itsu vegetable gyozas. We've also got some chicken gyoza. I've made two dipping sauces with soy sauce, honey and I think white wine vinegar. We've also got some of these ramen from Tesco to put with it and a vegetable stir fry mix that I'm just heating up and we're going to mix it all together and I'll show you it once you've plated it all up. Yeah, so here we are plated up, I've just got my dipping sauce, we've got our ramen with our stir fry mixed in and then we've got some vegetable gyoza and some chicken gyoza and this is what we have got for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner we have got cottage pie, this was actually very kindly cooked by Steve and it looks amazing. We've got cheese on the top, we've got beef mince, which is why it's cottage pie and not shepherd's pie, I always get it mixed up. And we've also got some broccoli, so that is what we are having tonight. So for tonight's dinner, we have got chicken tikka masala with Peshwari naan bread and some boiled rice. And that is <laughs> what we're all having for dinner. I didn't really know what else to say then. It just kind of thought I was gonna lead on about all the ingredients, but it's literally chicken, curry sauce, <laughs> rice and naan bread. And I've flicked rice everywhere as always. So for tonight's dinner we just had a pasta bolognese. I bought one of these garlic and cheese breads from Lidl and we just had pasta shells with a normal bolognese sauce. For tonight's dinner we've got a typical oven quick and easy dinner. We've got a beer battered cod, we've got some peas, some tartar sauce and some hash browns. Steve's got some chips with his, the boys have all got chips with theirs and they've also all got bread and butter but this is what we are having for our dinner tonight. Christmas dinner we have got sprout stuffing, pigs in blankets, turkey, roast potatoes, roast parsnips, carrots and we've left a space because we've also got cauliflower cheese and red cabbage with pork, we've got gravy to come as well and then we've got bread sauce and cranberry sauce on the table which we've laid nicely and that is our Christmas dinner. So I couldn't let all those lovely turkey bones go to waste so I put them all in my slow cooker with everything I could find. I had some leeks to use up, I got loads of fresh parsley and thyme from the garden, some salt and pepper and I added probably a couple of pints of water. I just let it cook on low for about six hours and then I drained it and popped it in the fridge. So for another lunch we had freshly baked croissants that you just pop in the oven with gammon, cheese and tomatoes and it's just a quick and easy one but really good. Got a proper boxing day dinner so we've got cold meat, chips and pickles. We were going to have mash but we decided to have chips, it's easier. So we've got turkey, gammon, sausage meat stuffing, chips, pickle, Pickled onions, olives, gherkins and beetroot. We've all got pretty much the same. And this is our Boxing Day tea. So you can't have Christmas without having a proper cheese board. We all absolutely love cheese in this house. So we tend to go a little bit overboard. It does all end up getting used. I make soups with it. We have it on jackets, in potato skins, have it with sandwiches, toasties. It lasts a long time and I've actually still got some Stilton in the freezer today. And we also had some Prosecco with orange juice in. So on this evening we were having some salt and chilli wedges so I basically just chopped up some potatoes, some peppers and onions, popped them all in a pan and then covered them in the Kerala seasoning. This is from Home Bargains. It's really really good, I really recommend it. I stirred it all through, sprayed some oil over the top and then popped them in my air fryer 
on the chip setting which is 180 degrees and about 25 minutes in mine and I give them a good shake halfway through and they came out really really well we served ours with these things from Aldi so we had salt and chili shredded chicken and curry chicken balls and also some Mayflower curry sauce it really turned out like a proper takeaway without the obviously added expense of buying one but if you do often order this kind of thing from the Chinese I would definitely go to Aldi and get these bits they're in the freezer section and they're about £1.80 a bag but they're really good you just pop them in the oven so I'm just starting to make some lunch and I'm making my usual Christmas dinner leftover soup so in here I've got all the veg that we didn't plate up and all the bread sauce, all the cranberry sauce that was like in the dishes on the table and various other bits as sprouts, red cabbage, carrots. I've got some turkey that's been in the freezer and then I've got my turkey stock which is ginormous. It's literally it was a celebrations tub full. So I'm just going to chuck all this in together. I've also got some frozen roast potatoes that were fresh and I froze. They're going to go in as well and then I'm going to blitz it all up. I think we've got some cream to use up in the fridge and then I'm going to pop the turkey in at the last minute. So I just let everything boil together probably for around 20-25 minutes and then I blitz it up using a stick blender. Then I added my turkey in and some salt and pepper to season and I served mine with some sprigs of thyme on top and some fresh crusty bread. So on the subject of using up turkey leftovers I made a really nice chicken pot pie just using some turkey that I'd frozen, a tin of chicken condensed soup and some of the stock from the turkey and I just mixed it all together, threw some peas in I put some of this puff pastry that you can get in Lidl or Tesco or Aldi on the top and then popped it in the oven and we just had our serve with some mashed potato and some tender stem broccoli and it's really quick and simple and a really good way to use up the last of the turkey so as we obviously weren't going out anywhere for New Year's Eve we decided to use up what we had left and also do a little buffet so I popped into Tesco and got some bits if you did watch that food haul a lot of this was really reduced down so that was good we did have a ton of leftovers but you know me nothing goes to waste in this house and I promise you it all ended up being eaten we had it for lunches over the next few days and I wouldn't recommend the green gyoza from Lidl they were from the fresh fresh section and they just weren't a pleasant taste but everything else was really good I also did a big bowl of prawns because I really fancied like prawn salad and everyone else wanted buffet bits so we had a little bit of everything and Steve chose the dessert which was profiteroles and we just stayed up till midnight watching films playing games and had a few party poppers and the best bit about buffets is the leftovers the next day. So we had a really nice prawn salad with all the beetroot and leftover salad veg, a little bit of grated cheese and lots of spicy sauce. My last meal is just a simple roast beef dinner with carrots, peas, cauliflower, roast parsnips, roast potatoes and a Yorkshire pudding. So that's it for this video. I did say it was random. If you did enjoy it and you're not already subscribed, then please go and do so. Leave me a thumbs up. I post every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. The reason this is actually going up on a Wednesday is because I've actually been really ill for the last couple of days, had a really bad stomach bug and there was just no way I could edit together a food video in the last couple of days. So that's why I'm late. So I'll be back tomorrow with a nice healthy food haul. Although that was a disaster because I filmed the whole thing and deleted it. So I now have to take all my shopping back out and refilm it just to get that video up. Which is going to be a nightmare. But I'm going to go and do that now. So if you'd like to see some healthy grocery ideas. Then make sure you click subscribe and come back tomorrow at 5pm. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.